Hey, what up guys? In this one, we're headed out to Poppy Ridge, this time with the new irons. So let's head out to the course and see how I did. All right, hole number one, just taking it easy here. Uh, hit the ball up the right-hand side. And unfortunately, in this next clip, you'll see uh, the balls on extreme side heel lie. So I end up just duffing this one forward. I'm advancing it into at least a fairway and so my next shot here is just a short one into the green uh, hit a decent wedge here and i'm safely aboard and i'm putting for my par so here's the par attempt and i thought the greens were going to be rolling a little faster than they were but i end up just tapping that in for my bogey all right this next hole you're going to want to find your fairway finder don't be dumb and pull driver like me uh, pretty much ends up in the sand trap on the right, and then I'm going on a little adventure here. For right, for right. So here is my sand shot. I bladed it over the green, and then I just wanted to get onto the putting surface, but it was blind, so I ended up in this position. And here's my chip, and luckily this got really close, so I ended up oh. having a tap in bogey. But yeah, <laughs> take out a layup club here and get in the fairway. All right, next up is a cool par three, extreme downhill, great views all around. Uh, this one, I end up short and right, and so I'm just off of uh, the green here, and I'm putting for birdie. And yeah, don't really give it enough juice, and so uh, I'm pretty short oh, for yeah. my par attempt. And then, uh, yeah, just end up just cleaning this one up here and ended up with the par on this hole. This next hole is a little testy off the tee. Uh, I end up taking driver and just laying off of it and making sure I got it into the fairway, a little knockdown. That went pretty good. Uh, and this next shot, I unfortunately bladed this, uh, but luckily it had a lot of spin on it and ended up sticking really close. Um, hit it on the front side of the green and rolled up this close, but unfortunately I missed this birdie putt. So this one still haunts me in my dreams, but we're moving on with an easy par. Next up is a par five, pretty straightforward. Uh, end up hitting this up the left-hand side with a small fade. Uh, and so I'm set up in good position here uh, for my second shot. Second shot, I end up just topping the crap out of it and pretty much only hitting it three feet off the ground, but it went a decent distance. Uh, unfortunately, my third shot, I end up pull hooking it to the left and now I'm in these bushes, which you'll see in my next shot. So this one, just want to get onto the green. I uh, hit on the green, but it rolls off into oh, this uh, into this uh, fringe area and pretty much just bump, try to bump and run this one close. End up being within a reasonable distance, but luckily I was able to clean this up for a bogey here. So a couple of interest bogeys to start the round. Yeah, you did. All right, next up, straightaway par four, just a little bit long. Uh, the starter did say the tees were playing a little bit forward, uh, so luckily on that. But that being said, I had a long second shot in the green. Uh, took my five iron here, ended up being pretty short off the green, and here was a mistake where I just tried to do a bump and run with this chipper club, which is not in the bag anymore, just trying out as an experiment, and it rolls well past. So I have a long one for my par, should be a lot closer on this from being right off the green. End up just babying this one up there and tapping in for another bogey. So here comes a par three with the new irons. Uh, ended up just clubbing up on all of my clubs because I was still getting used to them. Hit this one a little thin, but I hit it onto the green. So here is my birdie attempt from way out. So here is the attempt. And as you can see, rolling the three ball quite good. Uh, that being said, just tap that in for par and move on to the next hole. All right, so everything so far going pretty smoothly in the round. But if you watch the channel, you know a blow is going to happen. This time I hit my ball up the left-hand side into these hills and I lose the ball. So I take a drop in the fairway, take two stroke penalty, oh and I God. compound the Don't issues by hitting this next ball into the hazard. Holy so gosh. I'm hitting my six shot now because I had to take a drop. And luckily I just wanted to get onto the green and yes. minimize mistakes. Should have done that in the previous shot. And then end up just missing this putt for triple and tapping in for a quad bogey. So unfortunate quad, but we're continuing on now. All right, coming up next is a par five, pretty straight away here. Spinny. A little bit of a spinny fade here, so it didn't go all that far. Uh, my second shot just wanted to lay up to a comfortable distance. I bladed it, luckily, to a comfortable wow, distance. And so here's my shot into the green. Had a little bit of a draw lie, so ended up playing perfectly go. into go, go, this go, go. pin. And yeah, here's my attempt for the birdie. And yeah, I left this one quite oh short, goodness. so... Um, I have another testy one for my par. And luckily I was able to knock that one in. So eight over for the front nine. 
So back nine, who dis, and unfortunately it's a blow up golf perfection. So I end up hitting this into this tree. I was like, okay, I'll find it, but I couldn't find it. So once again, I'm dropping and hitting four. This one, I don't end up hitting up the, on the green. I end up short onto the right. And so I'm just chipping on and trying to get it onto the putting surface out of these weeds. And I end up being short, end up chipping this one on and still have a testy one actually for my triple bogey. And luckily I was able to knock this one in. So it could have been another quad, but I saved it, I guess you can say for a triple. All right, next up is a par three over water. Just stayed as far away from it as possible. Took the big side of the green and took water out of play. And here is the pot attempt for birdie. End up rolling this one pretty good and end up tapping that in for par. So pretty happy with that, trying to get back on track. So I keep things real and put all my shots in here. And here is oh, no. a bad drive that I topped into this reeds. Pretty frustrated here, but that's the reality of it. So tee up another ball and end up on the right hand side. But with the lost ball, I'm hitting four for my next shot. So luckily, I end up hitting this one onto the green. Uh, ignore the, the shot tracer distance here. I, I put the wrong distance, um, but I'm on the green and I'm putting for bogey and I don't give it enough, but a little frustrated here in my game because I'm making these big mistakes that is blowing up my score. End up typing that in for double. But yeah, at this point, I'm a little frustrated. All right, coming up next is a long par four. Uh, okay, bad time to first. hit a high spinny drive, but that's what I did. But at least I hit the fairway, so no complaints there. Uh, second shot into the green, end up pull hooking to the left. Oh, and so I now I'm in a pretty precarious position to get onto the green. So here's the chip, and I actually hit it beautifully, and it goes onto the green and could not play any better. So pretty happy with that result. And here is the putt for par. And yeah, I just barely missed that one and ended up tapping in for another bogey. All right, coming up next is a par five. Pretty straight away, just try to avoid the right-hand side. Uh, that being said, no hit a decent drive in the middle of the fairway. Uh, but yeah, my shots into par fives have not been great. So end up, you know, topping this one, but it goes pretty far. And then uh, leaves me with a short distance into the green. So hit a pretty good gap wedge onto the green. So I'm back on in regulation uh, and trying to just make this for bird. And right away, did not give it enough break. And uh, probably can't hear it in my voice on the course. But yeah, I was getting pretty frustrated at this point. But kept moving on and going to the next hole. So this is probably one of the more fun holes on the course. If you hit it down the center and pipe it, there's a speed slot that kicks your ball forward. And so that's what happened here. And I had a really short one for my second shot. Uh, didn't put it as close as someone else who was probably farther away from me. But hey, I'm on the green putting for birdie, giving it another attempt. And yeah, just gave this one too much break. And this one ends up rolling a little bit past. But actually, at this point, I'm in like tap in from any distance and it goes in mode. And I end up with the par here. So at this point, I'm thinking things are stabilized. I can let off mentally, but this is why golf is so hard. Uh, yeah, I end up flaring this one out to the right with my five iron into the sand trap. And then this really hard trap, I end up just blading this out and into this hazard area. Luckily, I found my ball and I could get a club on it. End up chipping this one over the green. And so the compounded mistakes are just happening over and over again. End up chipping this one short. And now I'm putting for my double bogey. And I end up missing this one. So end up tapping that in for triple. But yeah, man, you can't let off mentally with golf. And golf is such a hard, hard, hard sport to play. All right, coming up next is a par five. Uh, hit a high spinny wipey fade to the right. But it's a par five, so it's going to take three shots anyway. End up laying up with this four iron that I've been pull hooking like all day. So yeah, I need to figure that one out. That being said, I was pretty safe here. And this is probably the best struck iron I hit all day with my new clubs. Uh, went over the green, uh, but you know, I didn't. Ma it didn't matter to me because it felt that good. Uh, that being said, here's my approach into the green. Uh, you know, thought I hit a pretty decent shot. Uh, ends up rolling to like almost the perfect distance. So very happy with that. And here's the clean up putt for the par. And yeah, I end up just draining that for par. So. Happy to be back on track after such bad holes. All right, I'm 17 over at this point. One better than bogey golf if I par the hole. And of course, I pull hook it to the left-hand side. 
Uh, this next shot end up hitting the best hybrid of my life. Water on the right hand side, traps on the left, and pretty much right end up on the green and looking good to get a par here at least. So I hit this putt really hard because it was extremely uphill and I end up hitting it way too hard. As you can see on the returner, I barely tapped this thing and it rolls really far by and then Whoa. I missed my opportunity to break 90 here. Uh, just tapped this one in for a bogey and I'm shooting 90 bogey golf. Well, gotta love it at the end of the day, you know? As you can see, there was an adjustment pair with the irons, but Poppy Ridge is a course, awesome course has three nines. Hopefully I'll get onto the last nine and vlog that real quickly for you guys as well. But hope you guys enjoy that one. Keep chasing and I'll see you in the next one.